This is an ABC News special report. Good day, I'm Elizabeth Vargas in New York, and we are breaking into regular programming because there are reports of a shooting in Munich, Germany, a mall in Munich, Germany, Germany a shooting that began at about 6 p.m. local time in which police report several people were killed and injured. This is, of course, just four days after another attack on a train in Würzburg, Germany, in which several people were injured. Uh, this is, seems to be the latest terror attack in Europe, a spate of attacks. Obviously, we just had that horrific attack in Nice, France last week. For more details on today's shooting attack, we go to Alex Marquardt in London. Alex, what do you know? Good afternoon, Elizabeth. Well, this is still very much a chaotic situation, an ongoing situation that took place near a large shopping center called the Olympia Shopping Center uh, in Munich. Just after 6 p.m., as you mentioned, we've seen video allegedly from the scene of a, a gunman firing his weapon outside of a McDonald's. We have spoken to the Munich police who are saying that several are dead and wounded in the shooting and that the suspect, at least one suspect, although there could be more, uh, are on the loose. Right now, we don't know anything more about the suspects, uh, whether this is the kind of Islamic terror that we have seen in places like Paris, Brussels, uh, and just recently in Bavaria. But what we do know is this still is very much an active situation. Alex, you were just in Nice covering that attack last week. This has got to feel, I mean, the impact of all of these attacks in Europe coming in clo such close succession. What is this doing to public mood, public perception? Well, every time we hear the early reports about something like this, the, 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 the reaction by journalists and, and by the public is not again. I mean, this is very much a, a Europe-wide problem. This is not something that is just affecting one or two countries. We've seen it in uh, the Paris attacks last year, Charlie Hebdo, and in November, the ISIS attack. We've seen it uh, again in Brussels, uh, the, the bombings at the, at the metro and the airport. And as you mentioned, just recently in Nice, we were there uh, last uh, Thursday when it happened. More than, or at least 84 people were killed. And then just a few days ago, a 17-year-old Afghan teenager wielding a wax, uh, an axe, stabbing uh, people on a train car. So this is very much, uh, uh, it, 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 it's, there's a very dour mood uh, here in Europe. Right. Uh, there's a real sense of, you know, how much, how, when is the next attack going to happen? Will, you know, will this keep going on? Right, and obviously uh, ISIS has claimed responsibility for the attack four days ago in Bavaria last week, and Nisi's were self-radicalized men who decided to attack either on their own, inspired by ISIS, we don't know whether at the behest or direction of ISIS. Let's turn now to a Pierre Thomas, uh, our criminal justice and reporter in Washington, D.C. Pierre, there's been a spate of incidents we've been talking about. The pace does seem to be increasing. Uh, what are U.S. officials concerned about and what are they watching right now? Well, I just spoke with a senior U.S. official who said they don't yet know what the motive is. They have the information about several dead and wounded. Again, they said it could be a robbery, it could be terrorism. They just don't know yet. But obviously the concern right now would be about the potential for terrorism. And there's twofold uh, scenarios that they've been worried about. Number one, attacks directed by ISIS from Syria and or Iraq and people simply inspired through social media to act on their behalf. Again, they don't know yet what this is, but the sneaking suspicion and concern is that it could be more terrorism. All right, Pierre Thomas, thank you so much. Once again, to summarize, there's been a shooting at a mall in Munich, Germany, uh, one of the largest cities in that country. It started in a McDonald's in that mall. The mall incidentally built on the exact site of the attack of the 1972 Olympics, which is a I don't know if that is a, a deliberate irony, but once again, several wounded and dead in that attack. German officials are still responding. We have no claim of responsibility from ISIS, but we will have much more on this shooting attack tonight on World News. I'm Elizabeth Vargas in New York. We join you now with regular programming. Thank you. This has been a special report from ABC News.